I follow my dream. I have to leave a lot of things behind. I have to leave my family. I have to leave a, a lot of things, and and I, I think I'm 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 almost there to get what I want. You know, I'm in OFC. I know I'm I'm almost there, and you guys can take from this, you know, because I come from a small town, small city. You know, no nobody like no nobody like. Nobody know me exactly, you know, like when I start coming up and I, I thank God, like everything go right for me, you know. Uh, my name is Carlos Diego. I'm from, uh, from Brazil, but I live in, in South Texas uh, for uh, already like six years, you know, and I enjoy living in Texas, you know. I would have been doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at 20 years, you know, MMA five, five to six years. I, I had my first pro uh, fight uh, 2010. Yeah, yeah, no, 2011, exactly, 2010. Yeah, I think it's 2010 already, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 2010 and uh, from there I never stopped no more. Between my, my brother, my brother, no, my Cousin and a, a friend of mine, a friend of mine from the from neighborhood, he called my friend, my, my cousin, and asked, "Hey, uh, do you guys want to go over there and uh, uh, at the gym? It's close by here. If you guys want to go, uh, uh, it's open for the public. You know, it's like a uh, it's open gym." And I really like, uh, maybe as yes, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I, I never heard about that, and I kind of like okay yeah let's go and I go and from there when the first day that off the class and I saw like yeah that's this thing is awesome you know it's really nice the guy like took me out like 10 times you know like I feel like really good and I feel uh, and I fall in love about jiu-jitsu you know that time I trained on Avignon you know and uh, it was really uh, it was really like a project from uh, from the neighborhood, you know. But from there he moved around, he moved to another place, and I could follow him. And from there I moved to the gym too. Come from uh, to Brazil and just to get in the United States, you know, compete a world world Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for me means a lot. You know, I feel so so impressed just to to get here, and I, I still never give up for what I. I still have a dream to one day be a world champion in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, when I started Jiu-Jitsu, I really don't have a no clue with MMA, you know. And I never think I thought of, I thought of thinking about like fighting MMA, you know, because uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu that's what I the most I love, the most I really like it. When I moved to to United States and one friend of mine like, hey, you wanna you wanna fight <coughs> you wanna fight MMA? just to make the money you know because that time I uh, really I don't have really like money yet you know I have to work I have to I have to to do like a lot of things to, to make money you know I have to do privates or seminars almost the time like for twenty dollars in California you know like ten twenty dollars and uh, from there I start doing but I start fighting MMA but I really don't like uh, I really don't care about MMA you know but uh, two years ago, when I started fighting for Legacy, and I see myself and like, okay, I can maybe I can make a career from this, you know. And now I gotta take a little bit serious, you know, because the last few fights, the first few fights, I took the fights just to to make money, just for the money. I don't take because maybe I can have a career. But the, the, after like five, six, and I said, oh, maybe I can, maybe I have a career right here, you know. And from there, and then my third fight on Legacy, I win it for the title. And I transitioned to FC, and I said, oh, yeah, I really need to stop training a lot more Jiu-Jitsu and go just to MMA. For me, it's kind of a little bit more harder because the transition you have from the gi to grapple, like have a more uh, grip and a little bit holding to have a little bit of time, you know, to breathe and or, or to have a little more adventure, a uh, little bit more perfection, perfections to, to go to the submission, different submission chokes in and arm bars. It, it's it's kind of it's kind of good, but when you transition to MMA, it's kind of really hard. You know, it's it, when you get in the cages, 
worse because the walls and the the the, the the floor make everything so different. It's just so different when you compete Jiu Jitsu because you know you have a big space, you know. And then we get inside the cage, you're like okay, you lock here you, and you cannot go nowhere. And if somebody put you on the, uh, you back on the, on a cage, you you have to try to get out. And this the, the few details like make me like think like wow, that's a different thing for me, you know. The first thing I, I have to tell, like the guys want to make to the or our dream come true, is like you have, have to work hard on the first, you know, and another one follow your dream, you know. If you really want, you have to go forward to go get it. Does it doesn't matter what is gonna happen in your life, go, go and get it, you know, because it's not gonna be easy, you know. The work, the work hard every day. It's it's not easy too, but if you really want something, you have to. Since I'm like jump so high and then try get something, and you think you never get get it, and I, I think that's the point. You have to go and and try follow your dream. You know, don't make people, don't let people bring you down, and and follow your dream because everybody not gonna know you, but everybody wanna beat you. That's gonna be the horror part too. No, everybody gonna know you more, but a lot of more the black belts are wanna beat you because you like. People gonna think, oh, he's famous, you know, he been have, you have a lot of fights or this and there, but it's hard, you know. But that's what make me more excited to train every single day, push myself up, you know, go to the gym, come to the gym and work hard, and have my 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 crew, my team, like always behind me and help me out to train. That's that's the more important important thing.